Here with Coach Mark Wood here in his second season at the helm of the University of Men's Basketball Team. Coach, thanks for joining us here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, your team picked number five in the preseason poll. What does that mean to you to be ranked this after a couple of years before prior? It's been sort of at the bottom of the conference. What does that mean for you? Yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I don't put a lot of uh, weight into the preseason rankings. Um, you know, obviously, the rankings that matter are the ones at the end of the season as we all know. But um, as you said, I mean, to, to be picked up towards the bottom of the league the last few years and, and to see that climb a little bit just shows that the, the other teams and coaching staffs in the league, um, you're starting to gain a little bit of respect and gain some steam there. Now we have to live up to it. Now, I mean, our expectations are obviously even higher than that. Um, and that's those are the ones we're really trying to live up to is our own expectations and our lack of one of the things I love about this conference is no matter if the teams at the bottom of the standings or the top, you're going to have a good competitive game. Can you talk about how close everything has been over the last couple of years and how you try to take that edge to win a couple more games this year? Yeah, I mean, there's great parity in the league. Uh, you know, we got to give that to the great coaching staffs, the great head coaches, as well as uh, you know, the great players that they brought into their programs. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a really hard fought league right now. Now, looking at this current season and this current squad, uh, talk about your returners that are coming back into the fold, too, and what they mean to kind of stabilizing that program while bringing in some new faces. Yeah, yeah. Well. I mean, we returned 10 guys, six out of our top seven. Obviously, really excited about those returning guys that decided to stay. Um, they brought great leadership to our locker room uh, since the end of last year, throughout the summer and the fall of the preseason. So uh, they're, they're going to play a huge role uh, in what we're doing this year. Uh, anytime you return six out of your top seven, those guys have been through the course with you. Uh, I've played a lot of major minutes in some big games. Um, and heading into their second year, their, their confidence is growing. They kind of know what to expect. They know the system. Uh, they're playing a little bit more free. So uh, really excited about what those guys have done up to this point, but even more excited about what they're going to do for this program heading into the year. Let's talk about some of the new players, too, that we'll get accustomed to in Orno and also watch the Blackbirds. Yeah, definitely. We've added seven new guys. Uh, we have two freshmen, uh, Isaac Winnie and, and Logan Carey. Both guys come from uh, prep schools in New England, kind of battle tested at the high school level. Uh, really excited to have them in our program. Um, they fit the way we want to play here moving forward. Um, and, you know, like all freshmen, they're learning on the fly right now. We're excited about their futures. Uh, then we brought in five transfers, four scholarship guys, and then walk on to Bryce Logier. Um, the four scholarship guys uh, you know, are off to a great start. They've all kind of produced at a certain level uh, within Division One already. Um, and again, we think we, with them, we brought in a lot more versatility, a lot of length. Um, you know, so they're, they're all in their own way dynamic on the offensive end, give us a little bit more offensive punch. Last year, quarterfinal loss to UMass, a little very hot team at the time, too. This year, picked higher than the finish from last year. What have you guys been working on to try to improve and make it a little deeper in the postseason this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it always starts with your defensive identity. We're trying to figure that out right now. Uh, that's always going to be a staple for us. Uh, anytime you've had seven new guys, that's going to take a little time. Uh, I don't expect us to be you know, hitting on all cylinders on the defensive side of the ball right now. But we're working tirelessly daily to, to kind of get it there, hopefully, before the start of the season. Um, but that's going to be the biggest thing. I mean, for us, we got to get our seven new guys on the same page with our ten returners. And, and uh, with the landscape of college basketball now, the transfer portal, you know, I'm sure every team's gone through that process right now. And uh, so, you know, there, there's still a lot to figure out on that, on that both sides of the ball with that. But, but excited, to, excited about uh, you know what the ceiling is for this team in terms of this. Well, we'll look forward to the season just a couple more weeks away. So looking forward to seeing uh, the first action and then conference play as well. Thanks Thank for the time. Thank you very much. Coming up quick. Yeah. Can't wait. Chris Markwood in his second year. Looking forward to an optimistic 2023-24 season.